We're gonna be going over this paper cut it effect that was used in the brand new Big Sean music video. I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can do this to your edits and also shoot it for your music videos as well. Let's hop right into it. So opened up inside of Premiere Pro here, we have the two clips. We have the clip from the Big Sean music video that we're gonna be recreating. And then we have this clip from the Pusha T Diet Coke music video. Now I'm just using this because it was shot on a white backdrop and it's gonna be really easy to do this effect on. But if you guys are shooting this for your own music video, I recommend shooting your subject on a white backdrop like I showed you guys. But there are some other workarounds if you're working with already edited footage, which I will cover in a little bit. So what we're going to do very first is we're going to right click and open this up inside of After Effects. This tutorial is mainly going to take place inside of After Effects, whereas you can do it inside of Premiere Pro, but it's a lot easier inside of After Effects. All right, so now that we have the clip inside of here, what we're going to do to get started is we are going to go over to our pen tool up here and we're going to do a mask around Pusha T. Now you want to make sure you have separation between Pusha and the white area. You kind of want to leave like this gap and have like this white cutout around him sort of very similar to what they did in the Big Sean video. And you guys could see immediately we already have the effect there. But if we play through, you guys could see it does not match up well at all. So to fix this, uh, what we're going to do actually to make this a lot easier first is we're going to duplicate our layer. We're going to go into the bottom one and we're going to delete the mask off the bottom one. And then clicking on our top one, we can still see our mask and everything. Uh, I just want to be able to see the bottom layer just so like when we get to a place like this, we can see where we are uh, have to drag the mask to versus kind of being lost here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open up the first layer that we applied the mask to. We're going to go down to masks. We're going to open up the mask and then we're going to turn on mask path and mask expansion. So now just going through the video, we're going to go ahead and move the mask by every frame. So it highlights the outline of him. This is pretty self-explanatory and easy to do. I recommend you guys take your time on this. Um, obviously it's going to take me a little bit longer, so I might skip this part for the tutorial and just speed it up for you guys. But uh, yeah, definitely take your time on this. Super quick, before we get any more into this video, I have to let you guys know about my editing packs and presets. Over on my website, there are a ton of editing packs created by me for creators just like you. We have so many different effects and transitions over there that you guys can use on your projects to level them up instantly. We have everything ranging from fast and wood effects that allows you to add drag and drop shakes, hits, and wipes to your videos super easily. A LUT pack that contains over 285 different LUTs, drag and drop 3D effects that work on every single editing program that require no render time whatsoever, and so many other different unique looks, editing packs, and styles that you guys can use to level up your visuals. If you guys are stuck in an edit or you're just looking to take your videos to that next step for 2024, I highly recommend going over and checking out the site because there's something there for you. But anyways, let's hop right back into this. All right guys, for the sake of this tutorial, I just cut it a little bit short. I didn't want to spend hours doing this, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So you guys could see here, we have the cutout looking really nice. It kind of messes up down here, but like I said, for you guys, take your time with it and uh, really don't be afraid to add more points and everything. So we have our white cutout around Pusha T and we have it morphing and everything. But if you look at the example of the Big Sean video, they have a bunch of cool assets in the background like eyes, paper textures, paint, and you guys can get these from YouTube. I'll put you guys onto a little bit of sauce here. If you go onto YouTube, you could just search uh, texture montage. So I just found this uh, grunge pack, 83 textures and elements it's by Motion Science. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I recommend you guys buy it. But like I was saying, just for the sake of this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, download this here, put it in my 4K video downloader here. And then I found this cool uh, outer space collage animation as well. Now, I recommend you guys make these yourself, but just for the sake of this tutorial, you guys get the point. I'm just going to download these kind of montages here from YouTube. So these ones will work. But opening uh, After Effects again, we're just going to drag and drop these in and put them below everything. So we have a push of T there. We're going to drag this to the point where we don't see the grunge textures text anymore. And we're going to set this to screen. All right, so what we're going to do, since this is so short, we're going to right click on the collage on the bottom here. We're going to go up to time here and we're going to do enable time remapping and then just dragging the very end point closer to the first one. It's just going to make this a lot faster. So we get more of like a collage in the background. Turning off the audio there. It looks pretty great there, guys. What we're going to do to fix this up a little bit on the Big Sean one, there was kind of an outline around the white area. So you can do this by generating a stroke in the effects and dragging it on and then setting the color to a black. Then we can set the brush size up and then we get the effect there, guys. But to sauce it up a lot more, what we're going to do is we're going to actually highlight all of these. Right click, go over to pre-compose and we're going to put it all in one composition and going back into the pre-comp here. What we could do is go into our project here and then as you guys can see, it's called pre-comp one. 
pre-comp one. We're going to be playing around with this brand new plugin called MXM. It's a mixed media plugin that turns regular footage into digital mixed media in one click. Now you guys don't have to do this step. You can download paper textures from YouTube. I'm sure you have some from Brian's pack if you bought that, but I just love this plugin. I've been messing around with it recently. So you want to hit fetch comps and we have our comp that we made right there. We're going to hit launch. You guys can see instantaneously we have this crazy look if we compare before to now. Now it needs a lot of messing around with. We're going to go and move the scan to its lowest point, which is times two, just to get a lot more texture of the regular video in there. And then we're gonna turn the look all the way up. And then going through here, you can play with the different colors that you want your paper texture to blend with or match with. I think I'm gonna go with the very first one here. And then you have the option to turn shake, flicker, damage, and scatter on. Now I'm gonna turn pulsterize time on at 12 FPS. This is gonna make it stutter a little bit more. And if we go into our source here, you could play with all the other texture looks inside of here. I'm gonna mess with the exposure a little bit, turn some marks on, add a little bit of noise. Add some color to make it pop. And you can play with the gamma to get different creative looks. And boom, you guys can see instantly we have such a creative look. Yeah, guys, that's the tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. If you guys want to get $5 off MXM, it'll be linked below. I'll also have a Brian's paper texture pack linked below as well if you guys want to go with that option instead. Both of them are super fire. If you're in Premiere Pro or Final Cut, you can use Brian's and achieve the similar look. But if you have After Effects, I recommend going with this one just for the sheer easiness of it and how a lot more customizable it is inside of the plugin. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.